Hey guys, and welcome to Petroped, and welcome to the latest in my COVID-19 daily vlog. Although maybe today should be BikeVid19. Now, several times in videos over the years, I've ended up putting the bike in the back of a car as a practicality test, and it's often that one. And I know many of you are also big cycling fans, and often people say, can you tell us more about your bikes? And especially when I announced I was gonna be doing these daily vlogs, which sometimes might mean not necessarily car content because of the restrictions in place currently in the UK, a few of you said, show us around your bike garage. Well. I thought I would today. So actually today is my road bike garage. I also have a mountain bike, but that needs a bit of work done, but that might be a separate video actually. So today we're gonna to take a good look around my two road bikes. Now actually, the bike nearest you is the one you will probably be most interested in, but I really should start with this one. So let me just quickly move them around a little bit. Now then, if you're a bike person, you'll probably look at this and think it's nothing really that special. But let me give you some backstory. So back in 2009, I ran the London Marathon and I had a kind of ambition to do more and more marathon running. And I just got to the point where my, <laughs> it must be an age thing, my legs and my knees in particular really didn't want me to do that. So a good friend of mine had started cycling and actually had started a group called Rugby to Riders because I used to be a rugby player as well. So lots of like-minded people going out on road bikes, getting fit and healthy. Um, and as a result of a couple of conversations with him, clearly I'm being joined by the, uh, the two scruffy Herberts today. As a, as a result of a conversation with my mate Darren, I ended up going out and buying a road bike and it tied in really nicely. I won some money at work and I had about a thousand pounds to spend on a road bike. Now this is back in late 2009. Um, so I uh, had a ring round, I knew a few friends who were cyclists and a, another good friend of mine said, look, bang for buck, you wanna go for a giant because for the money, you get a lot of good equipment, the frames are really good quality and I think you'll do well. A thousand pounds should get you an okay bike. So I ended up buying this. Now this is a giant Defy two. It has changed a lot since I first bought it, but fundamentally it's an aluminium frame bike, but it's got carbon fibre forks and a carbon fibre seat stem. And I used this bike to do some sportifs, uh, and then in 2010 I did five stages of the Tour de France route for a charity, uh, the William Waits Trust. The last five stages, two of which were Pyrenean mountain stages, which included going up the Col du Tourmalet twice. It was still to this day one of the most unbelievable weeks of my life. It was it was very very difficult but friendships were forged that week that will last a lifetime and this bike took me through it so it has a very very special place in my heart and lots of people talk about flipping cars or will you change cars. For one thing's for sure I will never ever get rid of this bike. It's far far too special for me. Um, but when I bought it, I didn't want to spend a huge amount of money because I didn't know whether or not I would be falling in love with cycling. Um, so I didn't go for the full carbon fiber frame. Um, with retrospect, that was probably a mistake because I ended up loving cycling and having to then go and buy a full carbon, frame, carbon fiber frame bike. Um, but I do love this bike very much. What I then did uh, in 2013 was buy my other bike, which I'm going to show you very shortly. And I've modified that bike over the years and taken equipment off of the off of the specialized bike and put it on here. So some extra things on here that are non-standard. And then the other thing that's very, very special about this bike is two years ago, I rode the Parry Roubaix Challenge, which is an amateur sportif um, that basically goes from uh, Paris to the uh, Roubaix Velodrome. Um, it's a very, very long day on the bike, and there's a huge amount of it on Parve, which is basically unmade cobblestone farm tracks. And I did the Parry Roubaix Challenge on this, and, and I had to get it set up for Parry Roubaix, and I haven't actually ridden it since. This mud on here is from the Roubaix Parve, um, and therefore it's even more special. So let me just take you on a close up detail walk around this, but then we'll get on to the main attraction of the day, which is my specialized Venge. So as I've just told you about Paris Roubaix, I should start with my top tube sticker, which is basically all the different sections of Parve for the ride, and it's still on there. Absolute badge of honour. I'm so proud of that. 172 kilometres um, in the day. It was a totally epic day. Um, I'll get on to what this badge is a little bit later on. Uh, so basic things we've done on here. I've got double bar tape on here because when you do the Parve, your hands and arms get a real pummeling. 
Um, and then the main thing really is the wheels on this bike are actually off of the specialized vent. So they are uh, a major upgrade. And I also on the vent changed the group set. So I've got a Shimano 105 group set on this bike that was taken off the specialized vent. Apart from uh, the chain, the chain ring here, that, that wasn't, I wasn't able to move that across. So that's, uh, that's what was on the original bike. But everything else, uh, Shimano 105 group set, I know it's pretty dirty, but as I said, this is, this is Roubaix badge of honour. <laughs> I really don't want to get rid of it. Um, but yes, so there you go. So that is a little bit about my Giant Defy 2. Maybe filming up here with the wind wasn't the best of ideas, but it was just so beautiful. Again, a little bit of escapism. Uh, by the way, you know I've got a thing about naming my minis, Ruby and Charlie. Well, I name my bikes as well. So this is Gigi, uh, and I love Gigi very, very much. Um, so I want you to meet the other bike in my life, Purdy. Stay there a second. Ladies and gentlemen, meet Purdy. So I bought Purdy in 2013. So this is a specialized Venge comp. Again, some backstory on this bike and why I bought it. Um, obviously I'm a car guy. Now specialized, tied up, um, in about 2011, I think it was, with McLaren. And they designed a bike for Mark Cavendish, the British sprinter, uh, the Venge. So the basic aerodynamic design work of this bike was done by McLaren. Unfortunately, the McLaren specialized Venge is about 25,000 quid. So slightly out of budget. So once I realized that I really love my cycling, I decided to take the plunger by a full carbon bike. Now for the kind of bike riding I do, I probably should have bought a lightweight climbing bike, not an aero bike like this. But sadly, I bought this bike because it looked cool. <laughs> That's as simple as that. I love the color spec. Um, oh, it's moving around in the wind. I love the color spec um, and I bought it. So I've done an awful lot of things to this bike. Uh, as a stock bike, it was two and a half thousand pounds, but the very first thing I did was put these wheels on it. Now I bought these wheels from a friend of mine and I actually ran them on Gigi and did the Tour um, de France, uh, five stages of the Tour de France with these wheels on, these aero wheels. They're a bit old now, um, but I just love the way they look. And I know I could lose some weight and, uh, and get better performance if I you know, splashed out even more money on wheels. But to be honest, I just love the way that the, the bike looks with these aero wheels on. It's not the best bike to ride when it's windy, especially if there's a crosswind, but boy, is she quick. So again, let me take you around some of the, the little bits on the bike. Um, but I'm, I've always loved the way this bike looks. I think she's absolutely beautiful. Okay, let's start off with the cockpit. There's a couple of important things on here. I don't know if you can see this little um, badge here. So one of the things I've had done on this bike is a full body geometry fit with Specialized. Uh, it took about half a day. Basically, um, there was a good couple of hours just looking at the geometry of my body. And then I was sat on the bike with pendulums hanging off of it and all kinds of things to get the bike set up absolutely perfectly for me. In terms of um, trip computer, I use a Garmin Edge 1000. I know there's probably newer versions of this out there now, but um, I, I love a, a couple of the features. Firstly, um, we'll talk about my gears, but I've basically got um, electronic shifters so you can see which gear I'm in here. I've got a cadence sensor, I always wear a heart rate monitor. And then what I love about the Garmin Edge is it's got a function called round trip routing. So you can type into it, you wanna do 50 miles and it will give you three options of routes, round trip routes that come back to the orig origin and uh, they give you the profile of how many hills and stuff. It's just brilliant, brilliant feature, especially if you're in a place that you've not been before. Um, uh, if we come round the, the action end, so the, the main thing I did with this bike um, so it came with mechanical uh, Shimano 105 uh, group set. Um, I had the bike for probably a two years, maybe three, um, and then I decided I wanted to upgrade and I've gone for the electronic shifters. So I, I, <laughs> I couldn't quite stretch to the uh, uh, well over a thousand quid for the uh, Dura-Ace um, electronic shifter. I think it's about 1500 quid actually. So I went for Ultegra. So basically the front derailleur there and the rear derailleur are electronically shifted. You just basically push uh, a little button on the brake lever to change up or to change down these two here. 
and the difference that made to the bike. Um, the, the actual gears and stuff were about a thousand pounds to buy and then my bike shop are very kind to me and they actually fitted them for me um, which was really really cool because it would have been quite a job but all of the internal workings the battery for that actually sits inside this tube here all the cables are internal so it's a super neat job but the upgrade was was well well worth the money you never miss a gear it's absolutely perfect and then as i said what you end up with is a gear indicator to tell you which gear you're in showing on your bike computer which is just really really cool um, and then at the same time i was upgraded the gears i upgraded the brakes as well to ultegra the, gr the uh, gear or the brake shifters as well um, and then I've got my Cosmic uh, Mavic Cosmic Carboni wheels, I've mentioned those already. So pretty much that's all I've done. A couple of carbon fibre bottle cages, um, just try and keep the weight down. Um, it does amuse me though, you spend all this money trying to keep the weight down and then actually the biggest performance difference I have found since I've had a bike and since I've been a cyclist uh, was I went on a diet and lost a stone and a half and that made me so much faster up the hills, it was unbelievable. Uh, but yes, so there you go, that. Here's my 2013 Specialized Venge Comp with DI2 shifters. Um, I've got Ultegra uh, clipping uh, pedals. Um, and yeah, my baby. So there you go. My 2013 Specialized Venge, definitely something I will never sell. I, I just cannot see any reason why I would sell this bike. And interestingly, although there are bikes I would lust after, I'd love a top of the range Pinarello or something that was custom made specifically for me. I bought this as a standard frame and then had a bike fit geometry to make it fit me, but you can't beat having a bike made to fit you i'd love to do that with with either pinarello or bianchi or some really exotic bike make i just think that would be so cool i mean you can drop easily drop ten thousand pounds on a pinarello if you have the right group set and the right frame and um, the last thing to say is i mentioned about this top tube sticker so this is very special uh three years or that be four years ago this year um me and a mate of mine no, three years. <laughs> um, me and a mate of mine, we, we did the three ascents of Mont Ventoux in a day. Some of you might have seen the video that, we, that I put together on that. And if you do that in a day, it's a, it's a heroic day on the bike. 21, so 21, 21 and 25 kilometer climbs. So three climbs, all with an average of about 8%. One of the climbs from Malacene to the summit has a section of about 10 kilometers where the gradient doesn't go below 10%. It is brutal. And I rode Purdy up there and, and for that reason I'll never sell her because she's just so special to me. Um, but yeah, I, I would love another bike but I'll never get rid of this one. Uh, it's not like cars. I think cars work into your soul. I mean, I love Ruby Roadster. I love my Mini but there's something about the, the blood, sweat and tears that you forge on a bike, a really heavy day on a bike. I did uh, something called the um, Dragon Ride on this bike. I'd only had it only a few months and the Dragon Ride at that time was 132 miles through the Breckens, uh, Beacons in Wales. Uh, and then I did the Attack Cymru the same year. And you, when you spend that much time on a bike, <laughs> and you, you end up crying a lot. You, uh, you end up never wanting to sell them. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. A little bit different. Lots of you peddlers, the other cyclists, wanted to have a look around my two bikes. These are my two road bikes. I said I have got a very nice mountain bike as well, uh, but that needs a bit of work. So what I might do is tie in a tour of that mountain bike with some work. And I never work on my bikes. I always give them to my bike shop, Hargroves in Chichester. They're just awesome. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed that. If you have done so, please give me a thumbs up. Comments below are always welcome. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to Petrol Ped for plenty more content to come. Uh, and I'll see you on the next film, but you take care guys, stay safe.